Hello, uh, my name is Kekali Akwaite. I will be doing a video presentation on um, how to clone a SIM card. This is this video is for ICS 484 Cyber Operation course um, at the Metro State, taught by Professor Joseph Klein and Alex Hepp. Disclaimer, this video is solely for educational purpose only and I am not liable for any damage that could be caused using this demonstration video. Objectives, I will be defining a SIM card. What is a SIM card? I will talk about the component of a SIM card. I would um, tell you why cloning a SIM card is useful. I would also talk about the tools that I would be using to clone the SIM card. I will do the demo of how to clone a SIM card and then I would go over the summary. What is a SIM card? A SIM card is used to authenticate a subscriber identity and to communicate on a network. Um, SIM card stands for Subscriber Identity Module. It evolves into I, UICC, which stands for Universal Integrated Secret Card. It's a smart card. Um, SIM card were um, only used in GSM devices in the past, but now they are found in uh, CDMA uh, and all LTE devices as well. Form factors. SIM card evolved from standard SIM 1FF, which are about the size of a credit card or an ID card, and um, and then it evolves into a mini uh, SIM card, the 2FF, which are basically the previous one. They're about the size of this thing here, if you can see it. And then we have the micro, which are the micros are the small one inside that I have there, the orange one in there. And then we have the um, the mic nano, the nano SIM card, which are the 4FF one. Those are found on your regular um, credit cards or debit cards, the SIM that is ins inserted in those. And the MFF2 are the much smaller one. You don't see those often. They're also known as eSIM. The components of a SIM card. SIM card or UICC is made up with a microprocessor, which is a CPU, uh, a RAM, random access memory, a ROM, um, read-only memory, and an EEPROM. EEPROM stands for Electronically Erasable Programmable ROM. SIM interfaces with mobile device and forensic tool via something called APDU application protocol data unit, which takes command and returns response. This happens uh, via the phone or the hardware that you're using to read the SIM card. Most SIM card today has six or eight pin, uh, contact points that allows for reading, writing, and querying uh, request to the uh, SIM card, uh, and this happens via those contact points. Those are, if you look at the back of this card, those um, lining, if you can see it, those line there, those things are those contact points. And this one has one, two, three, four, five, six, about six, and the main one in the middle there. Um, the SIM card contains a file, file system made up with several levels uh, that supports four types of file. There is a master file, there is a dedicated file, there is an application dedicated file, and then there is an elementary file. Why clone a SIM card? The advantage of cloning a SIM card is that it allows investigator to isolate the device from the network. Uh, SIM card can um, the SIM card identification information can be secure, secure, securely transferred to a secondary SIM for um, 
investigation if you want to isolate the hard the um, the device from a, the network the cloning a sim does not um, connect to the operating network so you can be confident to work on the device without worrying that they could uh, there could be a remote wipe or anything like that from coming from requests coming from the network the tools uh, the tools that I will be using for this demo is called uh, Deckard. It is a hardware SIM card reader writer and it, it's, it connects to your PC. It requires a software to be installed on your PC uh, in order to communicate and transfer data between the SIM card and the computer. This is what the hardware look like. It's a USB device. In the back here is where your SIM card goes in. This is the basic SIM card. This is the mini card that I had here, and I put it it's in the adapter so it could fit in here. So basically slides in, as you can see, it slides in. And then you just connect this to your USB port on your PC. And I am going to proceed with the demo now to show you um, how you can read um, a SIM card and write it, write data back to it, and and forth. All right, let's. So this is the software that um, that's used to communicate with this hardware that I I have. It's called Simple. Um, it this is the interface. The interface shows you your. This is where you can see the uh, hardware here that's connected with the SIM card in it. And here you have the menus that allows you to copy, uh, to write, to read the content. You can also add um, data to the SIM card, different fields you can edit data. So let's go ahead and read this particular one. You can just hit read here to read it and you will see reading phone book. This will go through and read the data and parse it into the interface here for you. And um, it's reading through. We have about 250 um, records that are being read right now. It should be done in a few seconds here. And once that's done, you'll see it populates here. So this data is parsed right in here, um, as you can see. So in here, this is the GSM contact, where you have all your contact, the name, phone numbers, the secondary names, second phone number, category, emails, and such. This information is parsed from the SIM card onto the screen for you to see. You can go to different tabs. Here you have the owner, owner, own numbers. This is the numbers that the device owner owns that are saved into the SIM card. This here shows you fixed dial numbers. This is where the service dialing numbers will show. This is where the SMS will show. And this one have extra information about the providers as well, the network. You can get much more information about the SIM card from M4 here. This tells you the it has um, uh, the pin one is disabled. The pin two might not be disabled. It has the serial number for the SIM card right here. This one here has the international code for the SIM card. This information is all valuable to a forensic examination to identify specific SIM card. And the provider, if there were one, it would be named here. There's a location for the where the SIM card SIM card was assigned, as long as it, along with other data as well. So what I am going to do here is save this data in in my computer and then um, delete all uh, wipe the sim card clean and then rewrite it back onto the same sim card so you would hit save button here and then you will name this let's say demo 
demo sim card and then is and then let's just save it right there and then what i would do next is i'm just gonna go here and i uh, clear the same this would basically erase this contact information on the sim and it will ask you to validate that information that request and you hit ok and it shows you which one you're about to wipe and then you hit ok and this would go ahead and wipe all this data off of the sim card it would take about two minutes the most to wipe the data out and um uh, while th that's loading there let's go here so i want to talk about in in cloning processes the um the sim card has a file system that contains val valuable data as i mentioned earlier to examiner such as uh, fixed dialing numbers uh, local area identities um, service dialing numbers we saw those uh, last dial numbers, you can retrieve those data from the SIM card. You can also retrieve short message services like SMS from the SIM card if they are saved on the SIM card. And you could also retrieve the language preference from the SIM card as well. So let's head back to the application here. So the data has been wiped. Let's read it again to see if it contains any information. This should only take a few minutes or less. It's pretty fast since there's not a lot of data on this SIM card. And um, should be done very soon. And it will populate here um, in the interface the different data type that we just went over. And here it says the SIM card, SIM card was read successfully, but it contains no contact. Um, as you saw earlier, we had some information contact here that when I wiped it, it cleans it out. So now you don't have any contact in here. And um, and um, what you could do now, what we are going to do now is uh, clone the old uh, information back onto the SIM card again. So what you would do is go into file, open that demo that we just did here. You select that and you will see it down here. And what you would do, you see here, you, we can verify the information. We have that information here, the names, the contact, and um, we don't have any SMS. We just have the GSM contact and the owner right here. So what we'll do, we'll select this and right click and it says copy SIM. This will ask you what to copy. We're essentially going to copy the GSM and the owner. So we will uncheck the rest of this. If you were cloning exactly one, you would leave all this check so all this data get cloned to it but the reason why i didn't check it because i didn't have the pin to allow for this two here to be copied you have to have a pin to allow copy of certain information so we'll hit next it would it would ask you which device you want to clone the device that's right now in the reader so we select okay this should take about about a minute or two to copy the data back into the SIM card. And um, once that's done, we can go ahead and um, and go browse here and see all those contacts that has been copied over. Should be done shortly here. Right now, copying emails. There is a name, but that's just the process. The software goes through that process. The the amount here 250 is the the size, the um, allowable size that you can have on 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 this SIM card. So if we go back here, it doesn't show anything. What we need to do is refresh it, read it again. So if you read it again, 
this will refresh and then you will see the data that will populate back here i'm just going to go ahead and also that and close this one so we can see the data contained in there this should be done in a few seconds here okay here we go so let's i'm going to go ahead and close close this one and then we can go here and see as you can see the contact were copied back into the sim card um here's the, the owners this one we didn't have any information on these fields i didn't copy them over but these two fields has those another thing you can do is you can edit this thing right here you have the same you can click on here and add and directly add data to the sim card name we can do demo um, um two because we had one earlier and then just give it phone number for instance let's do one eight hundred nine eight seven four five six one let's format and then hit ok and you'll see a populates right here and then what you will do is you just write that to save that data and um, once that's done you'll see the actress right here will be cleared and that sim card now has that new data you just add to it and there we go this is pretty straightforward um, and that's all for cloning a sim card all right so now um, in summary sim card allows mobile phone to be authenticated and communicate on a cellular network it uses the sim card id and and the information to identify a, um, a, an owner in it is used in all fourth fourth generation mobile device gsm and cdma uh, sim card contains information such as sms call log and subscriber id which are valuable information to a forensic examination mobile forensics and other vendors um, that sells forensic tool offers um, tools that can extract data from a sim card um, this allows for isolation of the device from connecting to the network during examination. Cloning process replicate the information from one SIM card onto another one. And that would be it for my uh, presentation. I hope you enjoy it and learn something from it. Thank you very much.